Right guys, so little update on the Lexus. Things have not gone well. We recently found out that the fuel tank was porous, so we've now got a new fuel tank. So we got this from Ricky, and I promise you now it looks a lot better than the previous one. But I'm just gonna clean it up, stick it on, and I'm gonna do the hydro lines at the same time. Because the hydro lines are not in, and we've changed how we're doing the hydro with the dual caliper. So we're gonna run the lines for that, get that in place. The hydro's moving from upright to down at the side of the seat which i actually prefer so that'll be better as well new tank in and while the tank's been out we've undersealed everything underneath the tank so Hey guys, so obviously we're holiday period, put a delay on everything. Didn't manage to film out over the holiday period, but got some little bits to do. So what I'll do is I'll run you through what we've done. So the first thing I did was I found some old mirrors from my first car. So I thought it was pretty cool. So we got some brackets made up and we have fitted them to this. So we got the old M3 style mirrors. Could have gone out and bought kind of doors, but they're just stupid money these days. So it's not really worth it. And they do look like Shrek ears to be fair. So. Um, also, as you can see, we've run the hard line for the dual calipers, so we've got it across the back and then we've run it from the front, left loads at the front so that when the hard handbrake is actually mounted up properly that we can use them copper however we need so it's not too tight of a bend or anything like that for the hard line once it's fitted downside of the seat because I haven't fit, we just left loads there at the minute. Um, we've got it in the wheel arches, all mounted up, so we just got to make the brackets so then measure the flexi hose to the second caliper and then we can do that as well so we'll get that done in the next few weeks we'll probably be in the next video of that and then we've under sealed everything under where the petrol tank's going to go we've prepped up the petrol tank pretty much that's all painted to a certain extent we just need to do a, like a really hard coat and then we're going to um, use some stuff to protect it so i don't have to do this again in i don't know how long uh, the underneath we did above the petrol tank as well so we just got to plumb all that back in once we get it all in but i wanted to get the hard line run before we did that as well. So we're gonna underseal the hard line, make sure that's all good. Uh, once it's all P-clipped up, up there and fastened in. So we'll get that done as well. Um, you'll see all that in the next video though, but I just wanted to give you a recap on this video so we didn't look like we're missing out. Obviously it's 2023 now. So the plan is the car's gonna be out this year. So keep an eye out on the channel for all of the videos and the updates, cause we're gonna get that done back up and get it pushed so that we can get everything back together and get it out and driving. So yeah, do subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more of that. Make sure you hit that bell so you can see the notifications. Uh, follow us on all the socials and give us a like, give us a comment what you think regarding the build so far and what you think we should do and how you think we should have done anything different if we did or any advice, we're always open because we're not experts. Cheers guys, enjoy the video, bye.